Hi guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to make changes to your menu in Raft. First, we'll go ahead and click on Edit Site at the top, and that will take us to the Full Site Editor. All right, so once we're here, we can click on this List View icon so that we can see the full structure of our page. Now, to access the menu, we'll go to the top and we'll click on Home. We'll click it again, and now it's highlighted. It's also a child of the navigation block. And this is what really makes up the menu, but we also have this Social Icons block, which is shown at the end. If we click on the block, we can access its settings over on the right hand side. This block mainly has style, layout and link options. You can also make changes to the individual social icons by expanding the block and that will give you access to a label option which you can see on the right hand side. And that could be done for each social icon. All right, so now we just want to make sure that we are selecting the navigation block directly. And once we've done that, we can go to the preview on the page and click on this plus icon. And that basically adds a custom link block that becomes a child of the navigation block. So we can edit this custom link block by simply clicking on it until it's selected. So once we click on it, we'll see that we have the option to search for a page. We can simply just click on a page right there in this menu to add one. So if we were to click on sample page, we'll see that this sample page gets added under the navigation as well. Now we can just go ahead and remove this. And now I'll show you how to add a link. So as an example, we'll add an about Let's click on this navigation and click on the plus. And in this field, you can add a link to a page. Once you're done, press enter. And by default, your link will be the name of your menu item. So in my case, I'll just type in about to rename it. We can also click and drag in the navigator to rearrange links. So we'll just place it under home. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the navigation block settings. So I'll click on navigation. Now on the right hand side, we can see layout settings with justification and orientation settings. For example, we can make our menu vertical. We have a wrapping option and right below we have an option to select a menu from this list if we have more than one. But we'll come back to this later. Let's move to display. So we can click on this tab to configure menu icon settings. We can show or hide the icon with this switch and here we can select the type of icon. Right now it's only being displayed on mobile devices but if we choose always it will be shown on desktop as well. All right so moving on we also have the option to customize text colors in multiple areas. And if we scroll down, we'll also see some typography settings. And there's a dimensions tab with a block spacing option. And this lets you add space between your menu links. Now, once you're happy with your configurations, you can go ahead and click on the save button at the top of the page. You'll need to click on it twice. Then we'll click on view, then visit site. All right, so here's our homepage with the changes that we made to our menu. Now we'll go back to the editor and I'll show you how to create a new menu. You can either click on this drop down and click create new menu or you can access this link, Manage Menus. I'll open it in a new tab. And we'll see a page that shows all of our navigation menus. Right now we only have one, but to create a new one, we'll just need to click on Add New. And now we need to give it a name, so I'll just call it Sample Menu. We'll click Publish. Now we'll go back to the editor. We'll refresh the page. Then we'll go ahead and access the navigator. We'll go to the Menu tab and we'll see that we're now able to access the Sample Menu. Now we can go ahead and click on this plus and we can begin adding menu items, for example, this sample page. If you want, you can add more menu items, for example, hello world, or maybe even a custom link. Once you're done, be sure to click on save. Now I'll show you one more method, and for this, we'll have to go to our main WordPress menu. We'll hover over appearance, we'll click menus, and we'll be taken to this page. So if you have been using WordPress for a while, you should know exactly what this is, but if you're not, with full site editing, this is now referred to as a classic menu. So here we have two menu items. We have home and sample page. I'll make a simple change where I'll just expand this tab. I'll click on delete to remove sample page and I'll call this main menu. I'll click on create menu. Okay, and then I'll go back to the full site editor in this tab. I'll refresh the page and now I'll go ahead and access the navigator. So I'll click on this list view icon and I'll just click on this menu item. Now in the menu tab on the right hand side, we'll access this drop down menu and we'll see that we now have an input classic menus label and we have the option to select our main menu. All right, so we can see our change in the editor right here. And once again, once you're happy, you can click on save and you can go ahead and view your website. And that's basically how you make changes to your menu in Raft. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. See you next time.